All right. Um, so the first question for this week's video is why must short-term and long-term memory be considered when teaching students with a learning disability? Why is it so important? <clears throat> and why do we need to consider this when we're diagnosing and implementing our instruction? Um, I think because if a student has a learning disability, um, it will affect their it can affect their memory, um, which can cause gaps. Um, uh, so students with memory gaps will struggle to follow directions. Um, for example, um, any like uh, a word problem. Um, if it's telling them that they need to do something, they need to remember what they're doing while they're reading the word problem, and that can get all mumbo jumbled inside. And remembering what they're actually doing um, can be uh, quite difficult. Um, <clears throat> and even if they understand what the word problem is saying, they might not be able to, you know, folk, like remember what they were trying to um, figure out. Um, <clears throat> um, I think that it's so important because you know their academic success and uh, you know ability to uh, you know learn and and gain intelligence depends upon their their memory. Um, if if they have memory, if they have memory issues, long term or short term, uh, short term, and they don't have the help that they need, then um, they are not going to do well in an academic setting. Um, <clears throat> the second question is, which is best for diagnosing a learning disability: the RTI model or the IQ discrepancy assessment, uh, or both? Um, I think that they are both good um, because obviously an IQ test. Um, it, it tells uh, one how, how intelligent they are, and if they're below a certain number, then more likely than not they have, or not more likely, they, they do have a learning disability or some sort of disability. Um, however, I think for, for diagnosing, I think the RTI model is, is really helpful because the IQ um, test only bases off a standardized, like standardized data. Um, and it's after the test that they learn, whereas the RTI model helps um, diagnose them uh, and the student and how they, you know, respond or don't respond to um, intervention within a classroom setting. So that's all, for, that's all I have for this week. Thank you.